day 27. This morning started in Irwin, Tennessee at the hotel. Me and five other guys yesterday decided to jump off the trail because of tornado warnings and hail warnings. And it actually was the smart thing to do. Uh, locals we talked today that provided trail magic, thank you locals, uh, said that it was pretty gnarly. Um, there was no tornado, but um, there was hail and um, a couple different storms rolled through. So on the top of the mountain, probably that would not be a great experience to be having. Uh, so uh, the way how we got to hotel, we actually met this uh, guy from Florida that was visiting his friend in Nashville and decided to just do a short section of Appalachian Trail. And um, he brought us from Sam's Gap uh, to Turwin to hotel. And then this morning we got um, the shuttle so the shuttle driver uh, brought us back and this marks my very first experience being off the trail because I had not been off the trail yet. So yesterday I was sitting in a car and um, the, the guy from Florida was asking like when was the last time you sat in a car? I'm like wow it was April 11th the last time when I sat in a car so I just like little things. Um, it's interesting, something that we do every day and suddenly you don't and it's just like so, so different. So today was good day, long day, very steady. Uh, it has been raining or drizzling or misty most of the day on and off. So I'm carrying, oh, not carrying, I'm wearing my, my poncho. My poncho is actually one of my favorite pieces of my gear. It covers me and my backpack all together. Uh, I, I don't need assistance getting into it. Uh, getting out, I have uh, managed to get out on my own, but uh, getting in, I still need uh, somebody's assistance. And uh, that also explains why I have Teleti right here in my Buffy. So my Teleti jar I use for cold soaking my lentils, which is my staple dinner. And uh, as I've been hiking all day, I'm actually hiking with very little to no water today. And um, I drank some water with electrolytes uh, in the morning um, at the hotel. And then at Trail Magic, I drank one small bottle of water. And, um, and that was it. And I didn't want to stop and deal with taking off my gear and not being able to put the, the rain cover on myself. So at some point, a couple of miles ago, I was like really, really thirsty. And all I could grab while wearing my pack still was my Teleti jar out of one of the pack pockets and I drank unfiltered water. So hopefully I don't get unpleasant experience, but um, these springs here looked really good. And um, yeah, there actually are people who do not filter their water. So hopefully I'm not going to be regretting this and I was not able to put my Teleti back in, in the pocket anymore, so the only place where I could stuff it is in my Buffy, and I'm uh, a little bit under two miles away from the shelter, so that's how I've been walking with my, with my Teleti jar and my Buffy. And uh, today will mark probably a little bit over 17 when I'm done, uh, which, like I said, it was steady, it was good. Um, still uh, every day learning to be uncomfortable no learning to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and it's actually you know working I have discovered that I actually like hiking in the rain and I never thought I would say that but if it's not cold hiking in the rain I do like and I like it because I have this wonderful poncho and I like it because it's not hot and I don't need to hydrate constantly, so I can carry actually less or stop less for for water. And it's just refreshing. It, it feels like, you know, I'm, I'm doing my miles steady and uh, it seems like it's easier in the body. It's easier when there is that freshness in the air that comes from the rain nonstop. And uh, rain and cold, though, that's a different story that I still dislike and cold I dislike but um, hiking in the rain when the temperature is okay I am discovering uh, as a some uh, something I like to do which is really bizarre like those of you who know me I don't like what I don't like I, I, I just like like sunny days kind of thing <laughs> um, 
so yeah, learning to be comfortable was uncomfortable. Um, I think that um, that sums up today. Um, I'm excited to get to shelter to see who's there. And uh, it might be actually a day when I see Emily after not seeing her for almost the whole week. Uh, she was steadily behind me one shelter um, because she skipped a day to go to Asheville. But today I think there is a chance that she has made it to the same shelter. Uh, I know that Psyched is there and um, we'll see who else. And it, it, it again is that kind of like you're walking home, you don't know what and who will be there, but you know that there is a place that you can rest and be and eat and um, it gives comfort. It gives some sort of certainty. Yeah.